Hey, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I just want to put together a list of things of how you can recognize a refurbished phone from a uh, phone with its original body and original parts. Now, uh, you'd wonder why this is important. Now, for newer phones, it's not, not a big deal. A refurbished phone will actually be in better condition than a new uh, than a used phone, a heavily used phone. However, my subscribers, a lot of my subscribers are actually phone collectors and uh, there's a lot of them on r slash vintage mobile phones as well. r slash vintage mobile phones is a Reddit server with about a thousand members uh phone collectors of various sorts so we have uh vintage collectors and then uh, people who collect rare phones prototypes all sorts of vintage phones um there's a great community you should definitely check out r slash vintage mobile phones link down in the description below it's not my server but uh it's a great community that i'm always uh, active on um you should also check out my uh social media down in the description below especially discord because that's where all the main stuff comes up and people have been asking uh, this question of how do you recognize a refurbished older phone uh, versus one with its original parts now this is important because people such as me we don't really like when the phone has been replaced with uh, third-party parts now some people are okay with that that's fine some people are just cool with that and there are some really good refurbs as well so some people are okay with that but just not me and a few other people um, it depends on the price though like I mean if I get it for one tenth the price I wouldn't care about it being a reefer but if I'm gonna pay like for example a Nokia N900 uh, these things go for about a hundred to hundred twenty dollars if I'm gonna pay a hundred twenty dollars for this thing I want all the original parts I don't want some third-party parts from China uh, this one's a reefer but I paid like 26 bucks for it so I don't care um, but in this video I'll show you exactly how you can recognize the minute details uh, between a refurb phone and a original phone now before we jump right in as usual don't forget to smash that like button down below as it helps this video get on youtube's algorithm and ring that bell notification button if you already haven't and of course if you already haven't as well please consider hitting that subscribe button and then ringing the bell notification button to get notified whenever i upload a new video i'm on instagram discord and twitter and you can follow me on those using the links down in the description below and now let's jump right into this video all right so to start things off uh firstly i want to point out that the uh points that i'm going to make i have eight points and all eight of them are segmented into the slider as you can see there uh down below in the uh, youtube slider it is segmented into each part so if you want to skip to a part you can see that uh the timestamps are also in the description for your convenience now the first part is uh the number one point actually i want to make is if it comes from China, 99.99999% of the time, it's a refurb. So if you just wanna downright avoid refurbs, don't get it from China. It's not gonna be a phone with its original parts. That's just how it is. Um, it's it's 99% refurbished. There are a lot of phones on eBay from China say new, and they're not new. They're refurbished, made to look new. So that's technically a scam. Um, some of them downright say they're refurbished, which is great, uh, but the only downside is that their price is almost identical to one with its original body. Um, so if it comes from China, it's definitely a uh, refurb, no questions there. So that's just downright a dead giveaway. There's nothing else to discuss about that. If it's from China, it's a refurb, case closed. Uh, the next point I want to make now, if we are getting more technical as time, as time passes, the next point I want to make is this. Now look up on screen here. You can see I posted a few photos. Notice something with those phones, something unusual. Now this does not only happen to Nokia's uh, and uh, the, the, most of the people viewing this video will be interested in the Nokia's because the Nokia's are usually the ones that are mostly refurbished. However, this applies to a lot of other phones as well. As you can see, there's a, a bunch of other phones in these pictures. Notice something different about these. Yeah, they have a screen protector on. When they shipped, they did not ship with screen protectors. Only Chinese branded phones usually ship with screen protectors and older Sony's as well, but uh, the screen protector did not come attached. So if, ha if it has a screen protector on it like that, a third party looking screen protector with a red accent, the red writing at the top there on the tab, on the pull tab, 
it's a it's a refurb it's a dead giveaway it's a refurb my uh, a lot of my subscribers have uh, almost fallen for this but then uh, they either ask me or someone else uh, in my discord server and they they're like yeah hey no that's a refurb so that red that red pull tab on the screen protector and a screen protector in general is a dead giveaway that's a refurb if you don't want a refurb don't buy one with one of those screen protectors on there it's a dead giveaway it's a refurb the next uh, method is sticker on the screw now there is this is a way they uh, give third-party warranty the refurbs usually have warranty of their own now here's my n900 which i paid only 26 dollars for and this is a example of a really solid refurb look at that it looks almost brand new and the reason i bought it is because i uh i saw it's in such good condition and i knew downright right off the bat it's a refurb because such an old phone cannot be in such great condition unless it's new sealed so i knew downright it was a refurb it was a refurb but i got it for 26 bucks so i'm not uh, i'm not uh, really uh, complaining there and uh, that's also another point uh, if it's kind of a sub point if it's if it looks too good and it's a really really old phone it's too good to be true it's not true it, it is a refurb because such an old phone unless it's been meticulously maintained it cannot look this good it's definitely been reworked or uh, if you paid like five hundred dollars and it came sealed in its box sure it's probably brand new but 90 percent of the time 99 percent of the time if it looks re too good it's a refurb here's another example a nokia n95 again looks really really good it's a refurb now when i bought the n900 i knew it was a refurb uh, but this one I didn't know because uh, it looked really, really close uh, and I didn't know better at the time. Um, but this is also a refurb, uh, but I bought it from a third party, like a seller in the US who had used this phone. So he didn't know it was a refurb I, either. So yeah. Now going back to, I'd say the fourth point that I've made now, the fourth point uh, is the sticker. Now I, I was going to say that earlier. Now the N900 has this sticker like thing, as you can see there, you bring that up there. That sticker on the screw holder, that's not factory. Nokia never did that. Nokia or any other brand, Sony Ericsson, Nokia, uh, they don't really do Samsungs. Uh. Another phone that they do refurbs on is the Motorola Rocker E1, AKA the first iPhone by according to some people, AKA the first iTunes phone, uh, a collaboration between Motorola and Apple. Now this one is not a refurb, this one is the real deal and I don't have a refurb on me to compare. They're not as common as the Nokia's but they also do refurbs on these things uh, as you can see here in this photo uh, with the sticker. So if you see one from China with that sticker uh, for the screen protector, completely avoid that, that's a refurb. Just avoid it from China in general. But if you do see one in the US and uh, it has that sticker or it just looks too good to be true, just avoid it. Uh, now, something that you can easily see in the Rocker E1 is this sticker, like the, the, the rubber part over here. This thing, after so many years, will definitely discolor. Look at it. Now, this is not a refurb, so it's been discolored. Look at it. It's really old, it's discolored. On refurbs, they look almost new, they're transparent. You can see the Motorola writing underneath there much more easily on a refurb so if it's more transparent it's more it looks too good it's a refurb because at this age that rubber already starts to degrade so if it's really unclear means it's an original if it's really clear it's a refurb and of course the screen protector and it, if it comes from china uh, everything else there's no other way i can tell uh, i don't have a refurb to compare this one's an original but still it kind of sucks that they refurb these refurbish these phones because they're essentially destroying their originality and when they find out that a phone is highly sought after what they do is they get a pile of them from some warehouse uh, slap on a fake body uh, and try and sell it uh, as new so yeah that's kind of annoying but uh, one thing to look out for is this sticker. Take a, get a good look at the sticker. It'll either be, either be red or white, as you can see there. If there's a sticker on one of the screw holes, uh, it's a dead giveaway, it's a refurb. Now on the, a phone like an N95, there are no visible screws. So that's a problem, right? So you have to actually get into it. Now the N95 can be easily accessed like that. And there's your sticker. So this one has a red sticker. I've already taken it apart, so I've messed up the sticker there. But as you can see, that has the red sticker. 
showing that it is a uh, it's actually a refurb uh, this one is not a great refurb as you can see it's already breaking a bit uh, the body isn't in that great of a condition it's not a good refurb like this one this one is a solid refurb even the back cover here look at it this one is a really good refurb but still it is a refurb because a sticker and something I'll, I'll mention in a bit as well now moving on to the next is the smell now this is probably something you'll only recognize once you bought it uh, most of these things you can ask for photos from the seller uh, about the sticker and then um, the uh, the screen protector uh, to see if it's from china and uh, whether it's in such good condition it, those things you can ask for seller uh, uh, basically photos from the seller if you haven't already bought it but then this next point is uh, something that only you can see after you've bought it, and that is a smell of rubber. Good refurbs don't have the smell of rubber, but the more cheaper refurbs, there's a strong rubbery smell to it. It's not a bad smell. It's kind of nice as well, but I wouldn't say it's rubber either. I don't really know what that smell is. It could be rubber, but it's... I don't know. When I... I I have a I have an a, an N95 in really good condition. Not this one. This one's not a refurb. This one, look at it. It's in really bad condition. But I do have a N95 in good condition, which I don't have access to now. Uh, it's in a different country. Um, it's mine, but I don't have access to it now. I remember that phone had a distinctive smell to it, and it's an original. It's not a refurb. I think this re the, the refurbs have a more amplified version of that smell. It's really hard to say, and you should not be taking this as a good point here, but uh, that smell, I've noticed it, because one of my friends has a couple of refurb phones as well, and those smell of the same thing. It's a rubbery, sort of a milder burning tire smell. So that's something you can look out for, but that's after you've bought the phone, because you can't tell the seller to smell it or something. That'll just sound weird. Um, now moving on to the next point. Now, um, I already mentioned that uh, the fact that the phone looks too good for an older phone, so uh, that was supposed to be the next point, but again, I'll say it, if it's too good, if it looks too good to be true, uh, for such an old phone, it's probably uh, too good to be true. Anyway, now, then moving on to the next part, the print on the rear sticker. Now, I really don't have a non-refurb N900 on hand to compare, but I do have the two N95s. Now, moving closer, take a good look at the sticker here on the uh, refurb N95. It looks good, doesn't it? It, it definitely does look good. Uh, however, when you keep it next to a phone that is not a refurb, the writing is a bit off on the refurb the refurb's writing looks too clean look at the look at the code the writing is too clean on the code it says code there code 0557645 uh it, the on the real deal it's not as clean as on the the the, the refurbs as you can see there the 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 real deal the code is a bit more bold and condensed uh, on this, it's a bit more uh, spaced out, and it's the same for the FCC ID and stuff like that as well. So uh, that is also a uh, dead giveaway. On the real deal, the uh, stickers are a bit more bolder, and the writing looks a bit more better. Also, there's this blue sticker on some of the uh, on some of the refurbs, but that's not there on all of them. Um, so the writing is a dead giveaway. I don't have another N900 on me to compare, but look at it. It uh, this one looks a bit more bolder, so this might vary from phone to phone, but uh, it looks a bit different on the uh, real deal, and this one's a refurb. Now, sticking with this one, man country of manufacture is my next point. You see, the N900 says made in Finland, and you must be thinking, oh, oh, great, it's made in Finland. But here's the thing, the N900 was never made in Europe. The N900 was made in Korea. Uh, there is no, as far as I can tell, there's no example of an N900 that was made in Europe, especially Finland or the Nokia's Hungary factory. Um, yeah, the N900 was made in uh, Korea. So if it says made in a country that it's not supposed to, that's also a dead giveaway that it's a refurb. Um, 
Now, here's the thing. You have to go hunting for a real one and compare the pictures of the battery bay. And no, there aren't really many photos of the battery bay. Uh, so there's going to be an issue. But uh, the N900, I saw there was a bunch of photos. And I knew the N900 was made in Korea. So when I saw this on the eBay listing, I knew this and this dead giveaway. It's a refurb, but I got it for 26 bucks. So I'm not complaining. And it's a really good refurb as well. As you can see, it's a solid refurb. I will eventually get my hands on an N900 that's not refurbished and it's in... Uh, uh, original condition but still this is a good refurb um you know you must be thinking oh you you didn't say the obvious thing which is the imei number you can just cross check the imei number no 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 these refurbs are good they these refurbs are really really good um this now for example this the, this phone I've covered up the IMEI number there, but if you go into the software and check the IMEI number and cross compare, um, the, they're the same. Cause they, like I said, the print is different cause they reprinted the Nokia sticker. So they've also reprinted the IMEI number. So it's gonna be the same. So the IMEI number is no way, any way you can actually uh, tell that it's a refurb because they've redone the IMEI number as well. So uh, yeah, you are. if you thought that you can just fish the IMEI number and compare the software, no, you're going to be out of luck because uh, they've redone the IMEI number as well, just like they've redone the whole sticker. So that's kind of obvious. Now moving on to the final point, uh, and this only applies to Nokia phones. Uh, this only uh, applies generally to Nokia phones. Um, I don't remember any other manufacturer that uh, has this issue. Uh, Sony Ericsson? No, I can't really tell. Um, and that is the uh, code, the product code, as you can see here. Product code is a dead giveaway. Now, this is not a great way to say things because some phones don't have product codes and not all Nokias have product codes listed on their websites as well. Uh, you have to go to these Chinese websites uh, to find these product codes. Um, they're not something that's readily available. You should go finding for them. And now the N95 was a phone with the product code. And when I cross examined the product code, this product code 0557645 is actually the product code for an N95 eight gigabyte. The second iteration, the N95 uh, Mark II. This is a gen one. So it has the wrong product code. So they do the stickers really well, but they don't do it, they do them 100%. So they got the wrong product code on there. This, the, this product code is for a N95 8 gigabyte. So you can go online and compare the product codes, uh, but keep in mind, they're not gonna be readily, readily available. Some of them are wrong. Some of them are not readily available. For example, the N900, I could not find uh, most of the product code. So yeah, this is the actual product code for an N95-1, meaning N95 first generation. Uh, and as you can see, this phone is definitely not refurbished. It's old, it's beat up, uh, but it has its original parts. So uh, most of what I said here sadly applies to Nokia because they are the most refurbished phones. But uh, things like the screen protector and stuff, um, you saw I, there were some Sony Ericsson phones as well. They also do it for uh, this Motorola Rocker E1 and those stuff like that. And you must have seen throughout the video, I put what does it apply to on the side there. So you know what it applies to and what it doesn't apply to. So mostly it's Nokia because they are the most sought after phones, but there are other phones as well. So just keep in mind uh, next time when you go to buy a uh, refurbished phone, uh, you go to buy a phone for your collection and you're, sad, you're scared that it might be a refurb and not a original. So let's go over the points again. If it's brand new from China or China in general, avoid it. Uh, the, the screen protector applies to all the other manufacturers as well. Uh, that's a dead giveaway. Uh, sticker on the screw applies to all the manufacturers as well. Dead giveaway. Rubber smell also mostly Nokia, but does apply to the others as well. Fact that it looks too good for an old phone, again, applies to all of them, but uh, still um, it's kind of a dead giveaway that it's such an old phone, it should be a dead giveaway. Uh, print on the rear sticker, it's a bit off. Mostly applies to Nokia, but others as well. It could be, I cannot really confirm. Uh, wrong country of manufacture. Uh, that only applies to Nokia because Nokia's were not made in China uh, on a whole. They were made in China, but they also were made in Hungary and Finland, Mexico, Korea, Vietnam. So uh, other phones just were manufactured in China. Sony Ericsson was made in Sweden. Some phones were made in Sweden. So you may want to check that up as well. 
and uh, finally the Nokia product code which only applies for Nokia phones but yeah that is just my list of things you can see uh, how to uh, recognize a refurbished Nokia or any other phone for your collection from a uh, actual phone with uh, the original parts but if you're not if you're not too picky about refurbs, you can go get them. I mean, here's a great example of a refurb. This phone looks really good. It actually looks as almost new. So I really, really like this phone, but eventually I'll get a real N900 with the original parts. Anyway, I hope this video uh, helped you out. And uh, if you're wondering what that's sitting there, that's my uh, Nokia N8 prototype, the one with the kickstand. That thing's just sitting there. I've done a video on it. You can go find it on my channel. Anyway, as usual, uh, I hope this video helped you out. And it, if it honestly did, please leave a big like on this video by hitting the like button down below or a dislike and tell me why down in the comment section below. I'm just looking for honest feedback here. Uh, also hit that subscribe button down below, ring that bell notification button and check out my social media down in the description below as well. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.